Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be reviewing the 2023 Hummer EV pickup. So behind me is the first edition and it only comes in white so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the features this Hummer EV has. Here is a MSRP sticker of this 2023 Hummer EV first edition. If you guys are interested in the standard features and the options this one has just go ahead and pause the video and the price with destination is 115,000. If you guys are interested in the color, the color is called Interstellar White and it is only on the first edition. So if you guys go for the first edition, you're going to get this white color. Right here in the front, this thing looks amazing. I love the way how this Hummer looks like in person. Over the videos and pictures, I really didn't like it that much. And I really like what GM did with the lights. I love the fact that it says Hummer in the headlight and I really like the turn signal indicators everything right here in the front looks amazing and if you are charging it will actually show you the charging uh, percent or not percent but like the charging bar where exactly the battery is charged to so if it's half it will display halfway there's fog lights here in the front massive hooks here in the front GMC is finished in black front parking sensor with a front facing camera there is a skid plate here in the front because this is a off-roady truck but yeah overall I think the front looks amazing there is three amber lights up there and this thing is very very wide but it does look amazing to open the front of this Hummer, there is actually two buttons, one on the key and one inside. Let's go ahead and double click the button. It's a little bit slow at first, but then once it goes, it's quick. Uh, you could actually lift this more. And I'm pretty sure if you hold the button down, it will set it to this height. Inside, there is a very good amount of space actually. And I love the fact that you could slide things in and out. There is no lip here, so that's good. There is a 12 volt right here, emergency uh, release button, LED light. It is actually nice and bright. There's some tie downs around this uh, front. But let's go ahead and talk about the power. So this Hummer has three electric motors, two in the back, one in the front, and it produces 1000 horsepower. And GM says that this Hummer EV produces 11,000 pounds which is not true and uh, I think they are just using this for marketing purposes anyways there is three electric motors two in the back one in the front and 0 to 60 is in 3.3 seconds and the range is 300 miles to charge this Hummer at home on level 2 it will charge 16 miles per hour which is slow my Tesla charges at 35 miles per hour on level 2 which is a 220 volt outlet but if you guys go to an 800 volt charging station this Hummer EV will charge 100 100 mile in 12 uh, tw in 12 minutes or less than 12 minutes but I think level 2 charging is a little bit slow and I think that GM should increase that but yeah overall there is a good amount of space right here in the front here is a side view of this Hummer EV and honestly this thing looks amazing. I think it looks much better in person. The pictures and videos I saw online, I just wasn't a big fan but after driving it and after being in front of it, I think it does look very good. Yes, it is expensive, $115,000. But right here on the side, you do get two-tone. So the top is finished in gloss black and the truck is finished in white but you do get all the black trims finished in gloss black so let's go ahead and talk about the tires on this hummer ev i think the rims look good and the tires they're aggressive they're all terrain and the size is 305 70 18. this hummer has rear steering so the back wheel actually turns 18 degrees and of course it does have the crab walk um, it is well known for it i couldn't activate it and i couldn't test it this specific one uh, just didn't let me to put it in that mode but I did see a lot of videos on the crab walk all the door handles are finished in white the window trims are finished in black and uh, on the mirror there is a blind spot monitoring system 
a camera for the 360 camera system this Hummer EV has. There is the H with EV badge right there. And uh, first edition, they will all come with the side step. And by the way, guys, this Hummer EV has 16 inches of max ground clearance, which is amazing. I believe uh, right now it's sitting in the easy entry mode. And as you guys see, I did take it on light off-roading. That was very fun. Uh, I believe the normal ground clearance is 12 inches, if I'm not mistaken. And by the way, guys, you could remove the roof. So you could remove those uh, pieces um, and store them in the front. But let's go ahead and move to the back, and I'll show you the back view of this Hummer EV. Here is the back of this truck. And honestly, I think the back looks pretty good. Everything right here in the tail light housing is LED. And that's expected, of course. Reflectors down here. The bumper is finished in gloss black. Here is the hitch receiver with the pink connectors. You'll have some tow recovery tow hooks in the bottom with parking sensors. And yeah, overall, I think the back looks good. It does say Hummer back here with EV. Here is the backup camera. And third brake light is located right here. And there is a camera right here this camera is for the rear view mirror i'll show you that when i go inside this right here will open the top portion and then you could actually open this just like on the chevys and sierras and to drop the whole tailgate down it is actually this button right here I believe the size of this bed is five feet or five and a half, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there's this assist bar right here or assist handle. There is tie downs around and there is an outlet right here. 400 watt, 120 volt. And yeah, overall, I think the bed is nice and big and it is actually very deep. Uh, by the way, this whole window goes down I'll show you that when I go inside but yeah overall uh, there is a decent amount of space here is a front door panel front door panel looks good and it is a mix of white and black this right here is very soft even top the top portion is soft right here this is basically the same material but it is finished in black there is some black stitching and um, does have the bronze touches because this is the first edition door handle feels nice and solid memory seats door locks window controls mirror controls i love the fact that it says hummer ev right here more of that bronze trim in the bottom there is a decent amount of space but i really wish that this was a little bit higher so you could store things in there better this is the map of the moon speakers have a nice design to them and inside the seats are comfortable i did take it for about 30 minute drive and i was very comfortable in those seats Finished in white, the top portion, headrest is wrapped in leather. Does say Hummer EV right there. Of course, they're powered seats for 115,000 with lumbar support. And underneath the center console, there is a ton of space. But let's go ahead and move inside this Hummer and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. And just like that, this Hummer EV is on. Let's go ahead and turn off the cold seats. They are a little bit annoying. Here's the interior of this Hummer EV. It does look very good from the inside and steering wheel is very light, wrapped in leather. Hummer with the EV badge right here. I love the bronze finishes. This is only with the first edition. And yeah, I think the steering wheel looks good. It is extremely light and this is the Super Cruise sensor. And when you are driving this uh, Hummer EV, um, they're going to be like a green light right here for Super Cruise. There is a 12.3 inch screen, a 13.4 uh, inch uh, screen. Uh, the camera system is very good in this Hummer. And I think that's very important because some people will take off road and it will be extremely helpful right here on the left side of the steering wheel there is the uh, cruise controls the adapt cruise control here is the steering assist you 
I could set the gap with this spine right here and right here on the right there is uh, up and down left and right so you could toggle between a few things beautiful clear screens uh, this I believe it has to do something with regen braking when I took this Hummer on a test drive when I hold this down it will actually slow down so it does have something to do with regen braking I think it just puts uh, power back into the battery or recharges the battery so for regen headlight controls with the turn circle controls the summer EV has automatic high beam I love this right here this top portion right here is actually soft this right here is hard I love the design fit and finish is perfect I love the bronze theme this is only on the first edition up here there is a digital rear view mirror and then here is some LED lights nice and bright on star SOS you'll have uh, the switch for the lights so when you open the doors uh, the lights will stay uh, basically off and there is the back window so the whole back window drops down garage controls the visor is very small there is a mirror with lights but the only reason that the visor is small is because there's not really a lot of glass so that's okay and as I said guys there is a 12.3 or 12.25 inch screen 13.4 let me go ahead and show you the backup camera backup camera resolution is very good in this Hummer so you could see the back and the front 360 you could see underneath the truck which I honestly didn't know about you could spray some water which is very nice and yeah this is seriously beautiful you could see in the bed and let's go back and show you the other camera angles so there is a down view for the back down view for the front you'll have you could see the rims so if you turn the wheels this is basically those are the back wheels or the back rims and you could see the front tires moving there is a hitch angle so so many views and angles definitely nice and I really like how responsive the system is and right here on the left those are the menus you could go to so this will take you to Google Maps music home uh, there's apps right here uh, Google Assistant is built in does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto camera so you could turn on the camera this way off-road you could see a few things right here you could turn on the camera from the off-road menu so definitely a good amount of stuff right here let's go back home very smooth system and um, let me actually go ahead and show you and in the bottom there is the climate controls here is the fan speed you could change the modes and heat AC sink cold and heated seats you click the button or the switch and then you go to the cold seats or heated seats it was a little bit confusing at first but I was able to figure it out, figure it out um, easily temperature could push it up or down down here there is the emergency light button you could like the the center locking differential back heated uh, heated steering wheel emergency light button traction control the sensors the parking sensors and this button right here will park this summer and by the way guys if you click this button twice that will put it in um, freedom mode um, actually let's try it one more time let's see probably has to be in drive There we go. And if you guys are interested in the POV test drive of this Hummer EV, make sure to check it out on my channel. Let's put this thing back in park. Right here, there is a cover. You could close this cover if you want to. Air vents, more of that bronze. There is a wireless phone charger, two USB, one type C and one type A. Here is the shifter that will control the ECVT in this. Hummer, reverse, 
drive slightly to the front for neutral and here is the park button i love the bronze touches and here is the drive mode so let me go ahead and show you so there is my mode which which is individual off-road terrain tow hole normal and i believe yeah there's like five or six drive modes including the uh, freedom uh, mode and right here there is the cup holders nice and big you could close this cover and a place to place a phone this is actually nice and soft and inside there is a ton of space there is a massive tray inside there is one light and there is a 12 volt right here by the way guys you could remove those top covers just unlatch them from this latch right here if you guys are interested there's a lot of videos online on how to remove them i'm not going to remove them because i have little time with this hummer but inside it does look very good this is actually a little bit soft but it feels amazing the fan finish is perfect there is a one edition badge right here this has a really nice feel to it it's actually very hard to reach the glove box from where i am so the passenger and driver are very far away from each other the glove box is actually very small for a big truck like this i thought the glove box would be a little bit bigger but this center console is massive there's a storage place in the bottom and yeah overall i think this truck looks good from the inside and outside and it is definitely a big truck here is a backdoor panel backdoor panel has the same design as the front i love that white with the black very soft and uh, more of that bronze trim door handle looks good it does have some bronze on it here is the door handle feels amazing window switch decent amount of space in the back door with the cup holder speaker has that moon design just like the front and for the back seats back seats are nice and spacious very good amount of headroom the led lights are located all the way in the back and decent amount of space it like room but uh the 1500 and the 2500 crew caps they have more space but i think that's fine you could raise those seats up if you have something big that you're trying to put inside the truck you could lift those uh, seats up they do lock in place and just like the 1500 there is a storage place inside there is an armrest so let me go ahead and show you this is very very soft two cup holders a place to put a phone as i said guys there is led lights and the seats back here are very very comfortable uh, there is a storage place air vents usb type c and type a and uh, there is climate controls back here temperature fan speed auto mode heated seats in the back which is nice the back seats have pockets in them and that's how the front of this hummer ev looks like i hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2023 hummer ev pickup first edition I would like to thank Luke and Buick GMC here in Wallingford, Connecticut for providing me this Hummer. I had so much fun with it. I did take it on a POV test drive. We did take it on a little bit of a light off-road. And overall, this pickup truck is amazing. It does have rear steering, crab walk. It is packed with features and it's not cheap. It is $115,000, but it is such a unique, beautiful a truck anyways guys before i end this video i would like to let you know that i came out with my own car detailing products so if you guys are interested in any car detailing products make sure you check out my website i'm going to go ahead and put the link in the description of this video and if you guys are interested in seeing more videos like this please like and subscribe because it does help a lot and as always i'll see you next time